Hey, Diamante, thanks for doing this. Um, when you were talking about the adjustment to the uh, to the offense in the spring, I remember you first called it alien, and then you said toward the end that it started to feel easy for you. Um, where are you at now just in terms of your comfort with it and your knowledge since the spring? Um, since the spring, I feel I feel very, very comfortable with this offense. Um, just with the just with the opportunity we didn't have through COVID, which which has been the downside for everybody. Just but the opportunity that we've had, we've been able to go through the install multiple times and just reinstall those plays and just make sure we're crisp and perfect on everything. Jacob. Hey, Diamante, as, as far as the entire running back room goes, what have been your observations of the other guys who you're playing with? So Daniel and Rashad, what, what do you think all three of you bring to the table as a group? Um, as a group, we each bring something different to the table. Um, I feel like that's what makes each of us unique to this offense. So every time one of us steps in the backfield, I feel like the defense is getting something different. But, I mean, we're all going out there. It's a, it's a happy, healthy running back room, and we're all going out there just competing for a job every day. Trevor. Oh, sorry. Um, so uh, Coach Herm and Coach Aguano, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Coach Aguano said you'd done a great job of just catching the, uh, the ball out of the backfield in the fall in these early practices specifically. Um, what did you do over the last few months to improve your game or kind of fluency within those aspects and others? Um, really just try to work, side, work, work my outside game, really trying to be that every down back if I need to be. Um, just, just being reliable to this offense and just being available. Um, that's the main thing Coach Hyman was preaching to us over this whole over this whole course is just trying to be available for each other, and that's what my goal is: just try to be available to the offense at whatever spot they need me to fit in. Hunter, hey Demonte, um, Coach Edwards said last week that when he watches you like hit holes on the practice field, he kind of steps back and, and goes, "Whoa!" Like because of your size. Can you talk about the confidence that that gives you as a freshman coming in? to ASU uh, in, in the fall, just the confidence that that gives you when you have your head coach praise you in that way? Uh, no, it's very good. It just, it's, it's, it's just knowing that my coaches and that I'm being evaluated every play, but the defense just them bring in energy. And then it just, makes, it just makes the offense compete even more. So when the defense and the offense get going at it and we start playing with passion and not playing emotional and stuff, we get good things going. And just, just being able to have the line that I have and just being able to open up some holes for me from time to time, I just hit it and go and just run, just run and run, run and run. Just really for me is making, making my opportunity every time I touch the ball. So whether if it's a swing pass, a handoff, or just blocking, just – making that play and doing the best I can at play. Jacob. Do you have a sense as far as the status of the competition between you, Daniel, and Rashad and kind of how reps might be distributed when the season gets going? And then maybe uh, is it going to be by committee? Is there going to be one person who's going to get the majority of that kind of stuff? Do you, do you have a sense of that? Um, no, I don't have a sense of it at all. Um, it's just a day by theme thing with us, and Coach Aguano's just let us know day by day how the reps how the reps get distributed. Yes. When Rashad came in, um, it added to the competition. But w w what did you find when he came in, uh, just in terms of what he brings from someone who's been at junior college? Um, he just brings experience. Just brings experience in his age. Um, he just he just knows about the field, and since he's been in junior college for a couple of years, he just knows how it's done on that collegiate level a little bit more. And just from his skill set, him being like more of a shifty kind of um, back, and he can he can do he can do a lot. It just realized it helped me it helped me more compete wise, just because it's more competition in the room. And I feel like him coming in the room just made everybody better. Just we all we all see what each other bring out differently. And we all try to compete every day just to just try to separate ourselves even more. Christopher. When Rashad and Daniel have spoken with us in the past, they've said that although you guys are all competing for reps, you know, you the running back room is constantly offering each other tips. What's it been like competing for that starting uh, for those reps while also building that chemistry with the other running backs? Um, it's actually good because we'll we'll 
while one is in the play getting reps, I mean, the rest of us is off to the side getting mental reps. And then when one comes off, we talk about it with each other and we just discuss what, what could have happened, what did happen, and just how to go about it. And if it was a good play, it was a good play. But we always offer tips, never never holding each other down. Just honestly, at the end of the day, just one the best out of all of us. Trevor. Uh, Dimate, you obviously came in physically prepared just with the strength and conditioning that you had at Hoban. Um, in terms of your physical self, what did you want to outline kind of with Coach Joe? Do you feel like you're at with where you want to be in terms of your weight or what preferences do you have for how you want to carry yourself this season? Um, I'm fine where I'm at now. I'm starting to get more and more comfortable as the season go along with my body. So we'll see. I'll just play it by ear. Um, but I feel great right now. And if I stay in this shape by the first game, I'll be happy with it. Jacob. What do you think some of the benefits are that Coach Hill's offense brings to the table? What have you observed to be some of the most interesting or most beneficial parts of his scheme? It's just, it's hard for defenses to game plan against it. You can't, you, you never know what he got up his sleeve. And it's always, it's always something, it's always something up with Coach Hill. Like, he'll, he'll, he just has the right game plan and the right mindset just to know how to go in and attack a situation and get the job done. Yes. I think in March, I remember you saying that um, your parents were going to move out here. Did, did they actually do that? And was that helpful to you during the whole COVID process? Yeah, so um, my, um, my family actually got out here in, in May. So they had the COVID had delayed them a little bit. But all my family's out here now. They love it. Um, just having that sense of family here, just lightens my low and just knowing that they're okay and that they're close reach like really um takes a lot of stress off my back and just knowing that I can have that family support at home games really means a lot.